Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just doing a quick potting video and uh, I've took the di dying air out of there. I'm just going to grab a handful of this uh, sand for kids playgrounds or whatever it's called. Uh, pure silica sand with no lime in it. And then I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to get a, a half pint glass of that sand. Use a half pint glass of this fresh peat and then use a half pint glass of this coir, coconut coir or whatever the hell it's called uh, which I've just started sieving from here out using this sieve and what I did is I took the coconut coir when I got it and I put it in here I added water to um, let it, uh, the coconut choir, you know, sit in the water for about six to eight hours. I then emptied it out, refreshed it with cold water again. Did the same, left it another six hours and then sieved it and then refilled it again. And literally I've just sieved it one more time and uh, I'm not going to refill it. I'm just going to get a half glass of that, um, half glass of the sand and half glass of the fresh peat and uh, work from there. So let me grab uh, some sand. Okay, it seemed uh, a half pint glass was a bit of a luxury I can't find, so I've gone with a mug of sand. So a mug of sand in here. And now a mug of coir. Yee. It's cold. Get some that isn't so wet. More. And uh, pretty much a mug of coir. You can go in there too. Yum, yum, yum. And then just squeeze in a mug of peat in here. Get some peat from here. Could we just move this dying air out of the way, I think? Let's see if we can sit in a temporary, temporary mug. This is so hard to do. There we go, she's quite happy. Now let's get some of this fresh peat in here. Gonna go everywhere because my hands are free. Okay, maybe I can pull it out. Yum, 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 yum. Yar, that's some frying fresh peat. Plenty uh, peat for friends. Okay, good enough. And then in we go as well. This is the best cooking I've ever done. Oh, lost some peat. And now, I will mix it together in equal measure. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that too, with one hand. Okay, you sit in there. No, I'm going to, I'm going to have to do, show you when I've come back and done this. So here's me pretending to mix it, and boom! And now we have something that seems to represent more the wet sands and, you know, the bogs and stuff of North South Carolina in America. Which is very sandy, peaty, coyery mix. So what I'll do with this now is I'll take a chunk out the middle to put in the dianaya, put in the dianaya, cover it back over to cover up the roots, and then on top I'll put a very thin layer of sand, say half a centimeter, a centimeter of sand on top, and uh, let's see what that looks like. And that is as good as your dianaya gets when it's this small, that's as big as the roots go, so don't think the massive roots on the dianaya here. And we have a happy, or oh, looks slightly happier, uh, repotted dianaya. And um, you can see how I've just tucked it in the sandy soil bit over the top of the roots. And uh, I'll just put this out and put a bit of um, sand over the top and then we can keep an eye on it to See if she duplicates and spits out some more heads and looks good. So uh, let's see how this goes. And there we have it. Apart from clogging up um, the kitchen with a load of dirt and the rest of it, 
Let's see if we can have a look at this. Some nice shiny lights. And let's see now if this grows nice. See how one leaf slightly burned there? One leaf just old and died off, which is pretty normal. Chop the flower off, even though it grew pretty big. Uh, you can chop the flowers off straight away. I tried it with with growing the flower, it doesn't really matter, but it's probably better to chop it off. And uh, yeah, let's send it to its new home. Keep an eye on this in uh, the weeks to come. Grow my pretty, grow. Catches up guys.